Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this FIFA 17 player review with me, your boy FIFA One HD. We are going to be looking at the 82 rated centre back from Man United, that is Eric Bally. But before we do that, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button below, hit subscribe if you are new to the channel. There is loads of good FIFA content here, I promise. And if you have any questions on Bally or FIFA 17 in general, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. So, jumping right into his stats, and as you can see, he is an absolute beast of a defender. He's got great strength. He's got amazing sprint speed and acceleration for a defender. That is absolutely phenomenal. His interceptions, his aggressions are really good. He's also got good jumping reactions. Stamina is nice and tidy as well. Moving on, as you would expect for a defender, you know, sort of the attacking sort of stats aren't quite there. But he does have fairly decent ball control. He has nice short passing, which is always good. His marking and his heading accuracy are pretty nice as well, as well as very good stats for his tackling. Moving on, you can see that we have three star weak foot, two star skills, which is, you know, fine and, and very adequate. He's six foot two and he has a high medium work rate, which will put some people off, but for me, I never found him out of position. I found him always in good areas of the pitch, so I would not be put off by that high medium work rate. Finally, no specialities, but he does have the power header trait, which I'll come to later in the review, and it's definitely a very good area indeed. So let's jump into that main block of the review. So my thoughts on Eric Bally and his 82 rated card were that he was a brilliant defender for the money. So, so good. Obviously, the pace is going to attract a lot of people. So I'm sure this guy is going to be one of the most used Premier League centre-backs there is. So you might as well get him in your team early, just like I did, because he's phenomenal. He's such a great player to use. And let me tell you why. Obviously, like I previously mentioned, his pace is brilliant. He can more than keep up with any striker going. He's just always in the right areas as well, which really helps. So you never find him out of the way. Even though he has got that high attacking work rate, he was always in good areas. And even when the player seemed like they were through, his pace enabled him to catch up with them very, very easily and very quickly. And he shut out so many teams, so many strikers that you would expect to be scoring goals. He was really, really good and provided a great wall in front of the goalkeeper time and time again. Defensively, very sound. Like I said, always in good areas, which is very handy indeed. So great for making interceptions and just getting you the ball back, moving it up the pitch because he's got good passing too. You know, his passing is actually not too shabby. I mean, I wouldn't try and hit any David Beckham-like passes, but short passing, more than adequate, more than able to do that. Going back to his defending, aerially, very good. You know, super good in the air. He's obviously got the height. He's got a great jump on him, so he really does get up well. And whether it's in your box, in, in their box, or just in general play, he's winning most of the headers, let's be honest. He scored a couple of goals for me and created a lot of goals from corners as well, which is always really handy. So, you know, swing it in, aim for him every time, because even if his header doesn't go in, it's probably going to force the keeper into a save or it's going to come off the bar or something. Uh, and you'll probably stand a good chance of scoring the rebound if it doesn't go in first time, like I said. His tackling is brilliant, both standing and slide tackling. So defensively, he's an absolute wizard. Physically, he's also got the strength and the uh, sort of stamina to keep going well into the uh, latter stages of matches, which is always good. His strength is brilliant, so he can hold off even the strongest of strikers and the quickest as well. He more than muscles them off the ball, no problem at all. Overall, just a phenomenal player. I thought was really, really good, really fun to use. I've had to give him a solid 8 out of 10 because... I mean, yeah, he could be a little bit better in certain areas, but for what you need, he's more than adequate. He's brilliant. Very, very good player to use. Price is a little bit expensive, maybe, for an 82-rated centre-back if you looked at the overall, but if you look at the stats, combined with his league and club, it makes sense why he is so expensive. Plus, these are day one prices, so currently going for around sort of 22 to 25 k is a lot of money but i think he's well worth it i hope you enjoyed the review guys if you did please hit that like button hit the subscribe and peace
He's finally arrived. Both of them have scored on their debut, on their proper debut anyway. Lovely, jubbly, great finish, lovely goal. That's got impressed Mark. Bang. Nothing the keeper could have done. Lovely into the corner. 